Hello guys, welcome back to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I am going to show you how to interface a TIP122 NPN transistor for driving DC motors. So let's get started. This is our PIC16 FA77A having 40 pins DIP version. This is a TIP122 transistor having 3 pins. This is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. We are going to need it to interface it with a PIC. You can use any resistor from 100 ohm to 10 kilo ohm. This is a diode. Depending upon the load, I am using 1 and 4 double zero 001. You can use any other diode for higher values if transistor can support higher current. This is a, any sort of battery or DC power source will work. I am using 0 to 15 volt DC adjustable power supply. And this is our TT motor with a gear system. So guys, this TIP122 transistor has three pin. Name the one on the extreme right if you hold it like this as negative. The center one, name it as positive. And the input one as as uh, the most left one as input. So usually in the data sheet it is named as base collector and emitter. I am using input positive and negative to, uh, to make it easy for you. Now let me show you how to do the connections. As you can see our TT motor has only two pins positive and negative or negative or positive. You can shuffle these two pins as you like and similarly a battery always have negative and positive terminal. First of all we connect one end of the input to the one end of the uh, sorry resistor and from the other end of the resistor we send it to any available digital input output pin of the PIC16 FA77A. I am using pin number B7. You can use any available digital input output pin. The second pin that is the positive pin will go to one end of the diode. Remember it will go to that end of the diode which is opposite to the bar side. The bar is on the other side as you can see. and from the other side where there is a bar on the diode you send it to the positive terminal of the battery and and from there you also send it to one end of the TT motor I am naming it as positive you can use any pin depending upon the direction you need so now further you connect third pin that is a negative pin directly with the negative of the DC power source and the negative of the TT motor will go to the end of the diode which is opposite to the bar. Remember the pin which is opposite to the bar that at that point you need to connect the negative as you can see in the figure. So guys this is our total connection. What I am going to do is that I am going to run a program which will make the motor run for 3 seconds and then it will stop for 1 second and again it will run for 3 seconds then it will stop for 1 second and then it will keep on doing it. So let's get to micro C4 pick. This is our micro C4 pick. Let me zoom it in. Click on file, new, new project click on next name name your project motor TIP 122 single direction single direction I am using pic 16 FA 77 20 megahertz crystal next finish okay first of all we declare our port B dot F7 pin as an output press B dot F7 equals to 0 it is an output initially it must be at 0 initial state is 0 give some initialization delay 100 milliseconds will do fine now we go to our forever loop while one forever loop starts here ends here so first of all the motor should turn on as soon as the forever loop starts equals to one so the motor had turned on for how long it should remain on for 3000 milliseconds that is three seconds and then it should turn off it should turn off that is it will go back to zero for how long? For one second. In this way, our motor will start rotating in one direction and then it will stop. Remember that in this method, we can only run motor in one direction. This method is for one direction. I will make a future video in which I will show you how to run it in two, di two directions. So this is our total program. Let me introduce you to the hardware. So guys, this is our PIC16 FA77A microcontroller and this is our TT motor and this is our TIP122 transistor this is our resistor I am using here you can use any from 100 to 10k and this is the diode let me show you the diode from this angle see there is our diode as you can see and rest connections are as shown in the presentation and this is the DC source I am going to use it's a, a 0 to 15 volt adjustable DC power source you can use even battery for this so let's burn the program and see what happens okay go to picket 3 programmer software select your pick P16 
pick 16 f8 double seven a is the one i'm using here we go select the program you just wrote what was the name okay it's motor tip 122 here we have click on write okay the program is being written as soon as the program is written i will turn on the battery source Okay, the power source is on. I turn on the program. See, the motor has started running. See, as I told you in the presentation, it runs for three seconds, then it stops for one second. So in this way, guys, our program is working fine. Now let me change the voltages so you can see. Now take a look here. I change the voltage. See, the speed starts to go down. But the control remains the same see at 6.2 volt motor is running slowly because dc speed of the dc motor directly depends upon the applied voltage and when i increase the voltage speed changes but control remains the same the main thing here is that the control is the same pick is sending the control signal and motor is working okay now let me turn off the pick see everything stopped even i change the voltage nothing happens because the control signal is coming from the pick pin number b dot f7 so if the pick is off nothing is going to happen pick will not give the signal and transistor will not do anything now i turn on the pick again it's the code starts working so as you can see i can take the voltage to any value i want supported by the transistor in normal case pick cannot provide this much current or this much voltage pick will get burned if you try to give this much voltage to the pick spin so for that purpose we need the transistor you can even go with the current. I increase the current. See, still no problem. This transistor supports up to 4 ampere of current. You can get a data sheet from the internet. So guys, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, have a nice day.